Adrian here, reporting from Dublin. Actually, it's not Adrian, because this video is synthetically generated from one paragraph of text. I'm reporting here from a farm in Kerry, except that I'm not. I just wrote a paragraph saying I wanted to be in a field in Kerry, and here we are. And now I'm in the Matter Hospital in Dublin, except, again, that I'm not. I just typed in a few lines to, in the text box to change the location. I don't even have to be the same person as the last frame, and I can just switch to whoever I want by typing something different. So the question is, can you tell that I'm not really here? Or here? Okay, this is the real Adrian, or at least I think it is. We've all become used to ChatGPT or Google Gemini or Anthropic or even Grok to help us write emails or do research or work. But now with the launch of Google's Gemini V03, it's just as easy to generate AI videos from a chat box on your phone or your laptop. With V03, you get scarily accurate eight second synthetic videos with proper accents too. Like this three-line prompt for an auctioneer to show a couple around a typical newly built three-bed house somewhere in Ireland. It's a lovely space, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the light in here is wonderful. Yeah. And the kitchen is brand new, of course. Yeah. Or this four-line prompt for a TV reporter to ask an irritated pensioner about data centres while on a moving bus in a rural area. Ma'am, what are your thoughts on the new data centres? Data centres is... Is that what's causing all this bumping? Shorter descriptions also work, like this two-line prompt for an Irish woman trying to hang a framed picture on a wall, or a woman who's upset, or an Irish nun, or an Irish wrestler using public transport, or a Dublin cafe scene with a cat, or a Scottish man on a tractor in Monaghan. Is that... You do anything, anywhere. You get the picture. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is fun, but what use is it, really? <laughs> well, let's say you want to open a new coffee shop in an Irish coastal town, but you don't have a budget for a marketing or creative campaign. You do know that social media networks like Instagram, Facebook, Threads, and X now prioritize video, but your own phone videos look amateurish. You could go to some stock video site and pay money for something generic or corny looking. Or you can now just type in a prompt and get something like this. Or even something you can use that seems recruitment friendly. Or maybe you're starting a video podcast with no budget for graphics. One paragraph of text, and you get something that's possibly usable. And here's the thing. If you don't know what prompt to type in, you can just ask the regular Gen AI app for suggestions and examples. Is this something I can use for Instagram or TikTok? Maybe, maybe not. But it's more than I had 10 minutes before I started typing in a query. At an industry level, AI-enhanced video has been pretty well established in the ad and marketing businesses for a while, but they tend to be giant brands like Coke or McDonald's, and the ads are usually the product of thousands of hours of studio work. This is starting to change. Fully synthetic videos generated purely from engine platforms and text prompts are now starting to appear in major TV spots. For example, during the NBA Finals this year, the US prediction markets company Kalshi aired this ad made from generative AI. It took just two days to create. Indiana gonna win, baby! We're in Florida asking people what they put their money on! I'm all in on OKC! Indiana got that dog in them! Will egg prices go up this month? I think we'll hit $20. How many hurricanes do you think we'll have this year? The social media world has been dealing with this for a while, with AI influencers selling stuff as AI videos become easier to create. In Ireland, though, ad companies have told me that they're starting to consider generative AI but aren't ready to talk openly about it yet. So that leaves us with organizations like the National College of Ireland, which teaches AI, that have started to use AI in their ads even if it's a more artistic interpretation of the technology, rather than the DIY generative text box variety. 
the idea that you know put in a few prompts and you come out with a commercial that's a million miles from what happened here we used ai very thoughtfully and creatively there are actually more humans involved in the creation of this ad than anything we've ever done before you know we could have gone lots of different ways and we've had lots of different types of ads in the past but i think this allowed us to you know be braver uh, and create something that probably wouldn't have been possible in any other way uh, and we were really happy with the result in the end now generative ai videos aren't perfect while six-fingered hands have mostly been eliminated you'll see errors like this magic cup or the tablet computer that mysteriously appears out of thin air here, or gobbledygook writing. In fact, generative video systems are still pretty glitchy at writing, even when you spell something out for them in your prompt. The amount you can generate is limited to, right now it's three eight second videos per day on the standard VO3 Pro plan for 22 euro per month, or five on the Ultra plan, which costs six times more. This presumably is because of the enormous amount of computing required for each video, with some estimates saying that a single video prompt uses the equivalent energy to running a microwave oven for an hour. There are also some safeguards built in that limit what you can make, probably for good reason. For example, when I initially asked my video to say, it's Adrian Weckler of the Irish Independent here for my first video, it told me I couldn't do that for policy reasons. When I modified that request to simply Adrian here, without my surname or newspaper name, it complied. So presumably that's a disinformation protection. There's no doubt that we face the danger of an era of what has become known as AI slop, which is video content that is blandly generic. Even still, it really feels like generative video has made a breakthrough this year. I mean, just look at this. Or this. Or this. Remember, these are all from simple text prompts that took me around 60 seconds. We now have a commonly available, cheap resource that's light years ahead of what was possible even two or three years ago. So the only real question is, what are we going to use it for? I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs>